All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to hop right into it. So these were the measurements from the last video. And then this is what it ended up looking like. We just got one big giant donut. And it looks cool, but it doesn't really look like a house. It just looks like a giant donut. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make it look nice and pretty. We're going to add some decorations. I really think this brown color goes really, really good with the color that I made the donut. So I decided to use brown terracotta and I just made these uh, brown rings going around the sides of the house. Uh, this looks really nice. I'm gonna add a, a lot more of these. We're gonna have a bunch of giant windows and it's really gonna help bring out more color for the house instead of just have one giant solid color. I also, I really like the brown uh, wooden tones with this house so you saw I made the front stairs also with wood and now I'm just wrapping around the brown terracotta around the front entrance I think the entrance is very important for a house in Minecraft because this is like it's like you're welcoming someone into your house it's like the introduction to your house so I always try to put in a lot of effort with the entrance. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of entrance work today. So you see I make like this nice little design wrapping around the front door. We have a little front balcony area and we have the staircase. The staircase is kind of floating for now, but it's okay. We'll worry about that later. We'll, we'll make the staircase look normal later, but we'll just make it look nice and pretty for now. And lots of glass, guys. Especially for like a modern building, <laughs> you want to use a lot of glass. And I'm actually going to make these windows bigger as well. So just adding a, a bunch of glass up in between the rings that I made. I'm putting some glass as well. We want to add as much glass as possible. And the white kind of does blend in with the color of the donut. But the brown rings kind of help make it stand out from the outside, so it's not like too much of one color. And we are going to add more eventually, but for now I'm just trying to get an idea of where the windows are going to be. I added these windows in the middle, have a nice little pointy top, give it a little more shape. And here I'm working on basically just the inside of the entrance area. I don't like having a room when you first walk in to a house so this is just gonna be like an entrance hall area we're gonna have a really beautiful floor pattern i'm really big i'm really really big into floor patterns if you guys don't know there's my boy and i really like making really nice floor patterns it really helps make it stand out so i'm gonna do something kind of creative um since we have so much room on the bottom i don't want to waste the area we have on the bottom so i'm going to make like a three-dimensional looking floor we're going to use a lot of glass so it's going to be see-through i'm just making some weird designs right now lots of wood again but we have variation it's not all just one type of wood i like mixing it up so we have it's brown but we have different tones of brown magma block I love this block. I always try to find an excuse to use it. I don't know. It's like a heated floor if you want to think of it that way. And now I'm just throwing plants down here, guys. I'm just throwing a bunch of leaves in here. I have some other brown designs. I, I put a little bit more green. And it's kind of like an underground garden. And we have glass, different colored glass, all covering the entire area. So you're going to be able to see everything down there. You're going to see the whole garden. And I don't want to make the whole thing glass. I don't want to overdo the glass. So over here, I'm just adding more wood. I love doing different wood designs with these logs and the stripped logs. It looks really nice. This is actually a, a floor pattern that I have used somewhere else. Sometimes I recycle it. This is one of my favorite ones. I would really like the three different colored woods mixed together over here. And I also need more windows. I need a lot more windows, especially in the front. Nice and big. Build them up. I need these to be even bigger than the windows I made on the inside part of the donut. Because this is really going to be... Because this is in the front. This is what people see when they're first walking into the house. 
So I really want this part to look good. I'm also building more on the sides. So the same place I put the stripes of brown earlier, I'm just putting a bunch of glass in between it. I'm just putting a bunch of glass in between it and it's all the way from the floor all the way to the ceiling. So that's going to look real, real nice once we're done. We definitely still need more windows, but I'm going to stop with the windows there. I'm also adding a chandelier here in this front entrance area. We have such high ceilings, so we're going to be able to make a lot of cool stuff hanging from the ceilings. And now I'm just going to give you guys a tour of what we have so far for today. Um, so you could see like the really, really big windows. They do blend in, so I'm definitely going to need more brown highlights around the outside of this building because it does still look pretty plain from the outside. Uh, I'm planning on making a few balconies here and there. There's the stairs that I showed you guys. I just added a few plants as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will show you guys some of the plans I have for the inside as well before I actually do it. So if you guys want to check out the next video, you'll know what to expect. So this is basically the front entrance area. Nice and wide. I, I might put some more tables around here. More plants. Plants never hurt. In the middle here, I think I'm going to do a helipad. That would be really cool. So on this side... I think it's going to be all like the normal house stuff. So kitchen, dining room, living room, all three of them, I think I could easily fit in this area. This is a nice big area, high ceiling. I could have a lot of stuff going on up there. I'm only going to do one floor. I was planning on doing a second floor, but honestly, I want to have the ceiling as high as possible. Look how giant this thing looks. I could have as many chandeliers as I want. I could have plants hanging from the top. So that's going to look real nice. On this side, maybe I'll do like a lounge slash game room type of area. I'll put a couple couches here and there. We could have a pool table, maybe a TV somewhere against one of the walls. And then over here in the back. So this is going to be like the bedroom area. This inside part is going to be the hallway and the rooms are going to be on the outside. So we're definitely going to need more windows over here. This I think I'm going to make into an office. We have two bedrooms here, so this side is going to be the master bedroom. We're going to need bathrooms for every uh, every single one of the bedrooms as well. And again, we have so much room on the bottom. I'm thinking a bunch of designs I could do for the floors again. So that's going to look really, really nice. So let me just go out one more time. And I'll give you guys one more spin around. So if you guys enjoyed this video... Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, you know, throw me some ideas too. I could use some ideas. I do have ideas of what I'm going to do like I just shared, but I could always use more ideas. The bottoms over here, I still need to fill out. I need to terraform because this thing is like floating in the air in some parts. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part three. Peace. Oh, and have a splendid day. Of course, how could I forget? Have yourselves a splendid day.